We are live. Maui. Maui. What is up, everyone? I hope you are all having an awesome. What's today? Wednesday. 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 Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. You got this. Thanks, B. Oh. So, today we are early because Jeff is taking me on his surprise. And I have no idea what the surprise is, but I know I'm going. My only request was what shoes do I have to wear? And he said stripy sandals, so. I have no idea. That's that's my only clue. He doesn't like to share clues with me because he knows that I'll figure it out. Because I love to be on the case. Do what be? That's just blown out like that paper is like blown out. So today I'm going to I guess I should turn this off. Today I'm going to take this tray, which it you can't flat. even see. There, you can see in there now. I'm going to take this and I'm going to make it into an opalesque something tray with cellophane, in theory. We'll see how it works. I know I've seen someone do something similar. I can't remember who it was. If you guys remember, um, Please let me know so that I can link them down in the description box below. But anyways, till then, stripper music. So. What's up, you guys? Australia, we were in Australia not too long ago. So, here's our tray. I got it from Blick, but I'm sure you can get it off Amazon. If I can find one on Amazon, I'll go ahead and link that. I do have a handy dandy, really cheap little glue gun here because I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it's not like the bottom isn't super in there. And if you can hear it rattle, it is my theory that resin will be able to escape. So I'm just gonna hit some glue gun down in that bottom crevice because it sounds like that's where the wink link is. What's up you guys? Hey guys, hey guys, UK. We're gonna try to make it to the UK at some juncture. I promise swear. So it's not gonna look real cute right now with this heat gun line, but since I'm gonna put some, um, it's gonna glue stick. Since I'm gonna put some cellophane on the bottom of this bad boy, we're not gonna be able to see it anyway, so it doesn't really matter how cute or uncute this is. Probably should have gone ahead and done this before the video. But I didn't know what I was going to do for the video till about 72 seconds ago. So therefore, that's my excuse. I need another couple glue sticks. Morning, morning. Is my mom in here? What's up, Aaron, Petra, Jason in South Dakota? Do we have any new people, new fam in here? I'm trying really hard not to skimp on this part because no matter how pretty it is, 
if you um, if you mess this up and your resin starts to leak out this is not going to be a good look and also I'm going to be using the casting epoxy which is even thinner than the regular epoxy so it's even more likely to try to escape and like I said the, this doesn't have to be pretty it just has to work you know your only goal here is to not let your resin escape and except for the fact that this is like just a $15 shape it probably would have been made better do this and then mix resin y'all do, do, do you need my assistance it sounded very far though I mean if you want to go ahead and mix my resin that would be awesome or get it started is my head in the way am I pulling in Anne Marie love her by the way that was not trash talk if you're an acrylic pour artist and you haven't checked out Anne Marie Ritterhoff, check her out. I think she's from Holland. <sighs> also from Canada, we have a lot of Canadian fam. We're gonna have to make a trip up there at some time too. Okay. I think. Oh, no more rattle. But I do want to make sure I've filled in every nook and cranny. And I was talking to Scarlett about this piece yesterday, and she asked if I was going to hot glue the outside. Ugh. And I don't think I explained it, but the reason why I'm doing the inside instead of the outside is because the outside is going to be visible at some point. Somebody's going to flip this over. But the inside is going to be completely covered. So if I'm going to make any ugly area, it's going to be the inside. I got this tray from Blick. I am not affiliated in any way with DickBlick.com. I did pay full price for this tray. But if I think about it when the live feed is over, I'll try to get a link for you guys put in the description box below. Just somebody remind me. Send me a message. Because if you're new to the channel, you know that I am the most forgetful one. One hundred percent. All right, I think we got it. Let me give you guys a close-up look-see here. Look at that cuteness. All the way around the rim on the inside. Since I don't know where the weak point was, um, I just went ahead and did the entire inner rim. Okay? Okay. <sighs> I've never done anything like this, so I'm very excited. Dink. So, this cup is not going to do it. That cup's going to have to do it.
Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Scarlett. You should resin the back another time to make it reversible. That is not a bad idea. Then you can have like a mystery box. This is the thing. Oh yeah, okay, you did that, okay. The glue. Oh yeah. Because when I, when I got it out of the box, I noticed it was like super rattly, so. Yeah. So I do think that for this piece, I'm going to use the Supercast resin from Stone Coat Countertops. This resin will let you pour up to three inches thick, which is bananas if you've ever tried to pour resin really thick you know that sometimes it'll um, not release the bubbles or it'll yellow because of the endothermic reaction which is fancy speak for when you mix part a and part b the science that's in that cup will heat up the resin when there's a like a volume of it so you either want to keep it thin or have some really good resin um, to work with. So, because I'm not going to keep it thin, I'm going to have to work with some really good resin. Enter Supercast. This is a two to one epoxy. And you always know which one is two and which one's the one because the two is going to be bigger and the one is going to be smaller. Um, no idea how much I'm going to need, so yeah, I'm going to let you guesstimate. I'm, I'm not doing two to one. What, what do you do to one to two? Well, the big one is the two, and the little one is the one. Two to one. To one. What does that okay. mean? Okay. So, I don't know. Well, this probably means on this cup you fill the two part, which is this one, and then the one and the one, but I don't know that, so we're gonna just work off of this ounces tick. So let's say there's 12. So we're gonna do eight of the big one, and then the, up from eight to 12 of the little one. Okay. You're gonna fill that up? Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah. So do this one first and fill it to eight. While you're doing that, I'm going to cut this cellophane stuff down. Nova Scotia. So what, this is to eight and then how much for the other one? Yeah, to eight. Uh -huh. And then to 12. Oh. Ooh, well, sir. It's super thin. And it looks a lot more purple on the screen than it does in real life because of how the sun and the lighting is catching it. But it's very like mermaidy. Thanks, Jen. So you guys can't see it, but off screen I am cutting a sheet of this. Which is not as easy as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like cutting wrapping paper. I am way surprised. It feels like a really thin um, shrink wrap. All right, so this is obviously too much. Or is it? I'm gonna cut this in half. Alright. Judy! Alright. I think that's gonna look way better. So I'm gonna take the heat gun and just heat up dots so that this sticks down to the base of this piece because if you don't stick it down it's gonna float up that's it just is so 
So I'm just putting a few little dabbies in there to keep the cellophane down. And I didn't see anyone do this on a live feed. I just saw the end result. But if anyone can remember who it was that did this recently, I would love to give them inspo credit. I think Crystal Ma did one. That sounds about right because she hardly ever shows her full process. And I'm kind of trying to crinkle it a little bit while I go. And I want to make sure it sticks to the corners and the inside edges because they're not cute. Yeah, that's right, Judy Crystal Mom. So I was going to put some resin down to attach to the film, but this uh, casting epoxy is so thin, I would have had to wait a really, really long time before adding the top coat, and I doubt you guys would have wanted to see a video of me just putting a little bit of resin down and then sticking this to it and then calling that it for the day. I need a little bit more of those. I'm just gonna cut it in little sheets that I can put in the corners at this point. I kept looking rad online and it looks like it's already flat. Like you can't even see that it's sticking up. That's kind of what I'm going for in this is an illusion of opal or maybe not even opal, but just something awesome. Awesome's the goal. That's that's where I'm shooting for. Slightly elegant, definitely awesome. Maybe like 10% ratchet. It, it may end up 10% ratchet. I don't know. We're going to find out together. Alright. Watch your fingers. That's hot. Mmm. So country. Jeff has an awesome new glue gun. Now, this looks very not as pretty as the rest of this crinkly area, even though it is covered. So, I'm going to, I'm going to this. It doesn't really have to be blended in so much because... After resin hits it, it's gonna just do its own blending anyways. That's my theory anyways. No, I glued it to myself. All right. We have our tray. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Jeffrey was kind enough to go ahead and mix up my epoxy. Did you, you did the three minute mix or? I mixed it. Unless you want to mix it more. Oh, I just didn't know. Because it's so thin. It's very much like water. Oh, thanks, Spampy. Okay. So I've been torn on whether I want to tint this resin or not, but I think maybe no, so that I can see all of the glory that is the cellophane. All right, here we go. I'm scared. Okay, good. Mm, 
Okay. Just pour it on there. What What do you, just pour it, babe. What, what's gonna happen? I don't know. You should do it like how they tell you to pour the, the mold stuff, just pour it so that it, it seeps in. You pour it at one corner and then it it travels so that oh, it fills up. You I didn't know? know that. Yeah, that's how people get a lot of air bubbles. And when you travel like that, you cover stuff up and then it gets the air bubbles. I see. Yeah. I'm gonna need a little bit more. So, Eight, do six, and do six and nine, six to nine, please. Six? Mm-hmm. So while we're mixing more resin, I'm gonna just like, oops, try to push down what I can and that will release some air bubbles that I am sure have caught in all these like wrinkles and folds. But ultimately, since there's so much texture in here, I really it don't care. Matter. Whoa. Right? I really don't care if there is a lot of bubbles caught or um, anything like that because you're not going to be able to see it anyways. The reason why I'm using this epoxy as opposed to the other since I really don't care about air pockets is because I can pour it thicker than the other ones. If I tried to pour the craft coat, the um, quick coat or the art coat this thick, it would it would yellow not because of UV but because of the heat that's going to be created by those thicker viscosity resins. Who I'm just dropping all the big words today. Accurately as well, I might add. <sighs> I'm really digging this tray. I don't know if I'm going to end up selling it. Yes, I am. We got bills, but. There's a slight odor to this stuff. Like, so. Not odor, but you can kind of smell it. A milky white tint would give it an opal look. See, I was thinking that as well, and we have this opal powder. Is this it? We have this Bling It Oyster Satin from Resin Art. The Heavenly White would also work. And I'm going to mix some of this in as well. Um, friendly little pro tip, don't, um, don't mix your resin and then put something that has resin on it into your paints because that is a super awesome way to ruin your paint. What's up Joe, Sue, Kim, Fam? So I'm just gonna add a dollop at a time and mix it because I don't want it to go opaque. I just want it to have a cloudy, white, marbly iridescence to it. I don't even know if that would show up. Like that's, I think it looks just like that stuff. Uh oh, we got something in there. Or is that powder? It's powder. Because the resin's so thin, it takes yeah. a little bit more force. So it's got a little bit of that silvery cloudiness in it. That's so funny, Jen. It's so perfect. She said, Erica, I'm not selling this ever, Erica, two hours later. So where did you want me to send the invoice? Yeah. It's me. It's me so hard. So hard. Mm -hmm. We should put like some of that in this and make of that mm. but I'm not gonna have any leftover resin so next time that takes like an ounce of resin do you want to cut that out mm. 
Well, that would have been easier than cutting it the way I did. No, I don't know why you were like trying to. Just so crafty. What's up, everyone? Just joining in. So. It's pretty well filled and covered, most of it. There's some sticky outy parts, so I'm just folding them under. And yes, yeah, sticky outy is a technical term. I should have just entitled this video Fun with Cellophane. Okay, here we go. Mm hmm. This is going to look awesome. Be luck. Okay, so there are some air pockets in here that are keeping the um, resin from laying flat on these. So I'm just, I've got an X-Acto knife here. I'm just poking ever so gently to get that air out. Sorry it's so quiet, I'm just on a mission for bubbles. <clears throat> okay. What's wrong? Pause the mission. I don't think I spilled anything. I think have an issue. We have an issue. Where's that orange tape? I don't. It's right here on the desk. <laughs> oh yeah. No, put it back down. No, oh, babe, it's it's. There's, there's nothing you can do about that. Like, that's, You can't tape it at this point? No, because how are you going to do that? Tape? Because the, the tape's going to get wet. It, it's, and you don't even know where it's dripping out. Well, I was going to put it all over. Like, Oh my gosh, you have two huge holes. Like, all the, the entire thing. Okay, so do you have a solution or? Just, you're going to have to dump this back into some buckets and then... Okay. So that's why you want to make sure. I should, should have just have done, done a the, little bit the, first. The, well, the top and the bottom part. I don't know how this is going to happen. Just let it happen. Thanks for helping me be. I 
feel like that lady. Let me just. Because it's out of it's out of up there. Oop. Ooh. Not a gusher. Down before you drop that. Oh my gosh. Right, so. Okay. So move that so you don't get any resin on that tape because it's going to be ruined. Okay. Give me that rag. Can we make a new one? Um, I'm sure we'll probably. You're gonna have to wait for this to dry. Like, there's no way, like. <sighs> Y'all. Jen's anxiety is at 1,000, I'm sure. I'm sure that it's probably all of this. Like, this is not put together well at all. <laughs> There's a crack right there. All right, so. <sighs> Wait for it to dry or I can just glue this right now? Uh, I would, I don't think it'll stick because the resin is wet, babe. Sticky stuff doesn't stick to wet stuff. All right. So I'm gonna go put this in the dust free zone. It's gonna look amazing. We're gonna do attempt two later. Talk to the people. Give me a minute. Well, you, it's uh, six o'clock, so super lame bummer. Well, that's what happens. The resin finds a way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spray this? If you want. I mean, it's, what are you gonna, like? I, yeah, I guess. I mean, so much wasted resin. Wow. <clears throat> Have no fear, y'all. We, we got a part two. Where's Bowie at? I need to make sure Bowie does not come over here. I don't even need to glue this because it's got resin all the way around. entire thing is going to be stuck to this table somehow, watch.
Take two. Did someone give us a pity tip? Oh, it looks like it. Thank you. Hey. Tell people, prep is everything, people. We do the tests so you don't have to. All right. Uh, Sherry, we are using uh, Stone Coats casting. Super cast. I don't know why you sprayed this. This is going to have to... I know. Come off. I'll sand it off. Yeah, and there's here, there might be resin right there, and you have no shoes on. Come on, let's come over here. Come on, come on. Is this okay? Blocker, I will do this real quick. All right, y'all. Take two. Just as before, I'm putting down. playing is everything. So this is the back side of a tri nope, a triangle canvas that I painted a while back that was never purchased. So I know that it's sealed in because the front side is all resiny. a little bit of paint off but it's fine because we gotta sand that part down anyways I think it's important when you guys like attempt something new or do something out of your comfort zone if it if it goes way crazy and you don't know what to do, still shouldn't panic. Just evaluate the situation. 
and adapt. That's really all you can do, right? At least that's my philosophy anyways. the mods are keeping up as I'm sure they are because they're amazing. I think that's also important, Jen. I think there's no, I mean, there's value in channels that show only the good things. But I think as artists, if you give the illusion that you only create perfection, then you're not doing any service to beginning artists or people just getting into videoing or anything like that because I think people should know that not everything will always be perfect and that is completely okay. Things happen out of your control, especially if you're playing with resin. More times than not, things happen that are out of your control. And it's okay. Stressing isn't going to fix any of what's going on. Getting upset isn't going to change the fact that I didn't seal that board in properly. That's not to say that there is no value in other people's channels that are just perfect all the time. Maybe they are perfect all the time and never mess up anything. I don't know. Who am I? I can't judge. I don't know what goes on behind their cameras. And you know, things happen for a reason in my world and maybe this is gonna turn out even better than that other one was going to. I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-puncture these. I've been wanting to do an opal tray for very many hot minutes. Finally happening. All right. Y'all, they're in there playing and it sounds like it's the cutest thing ever. Love my boys, even the human one. I'm just going to rip this here so that I can get a little pocket of glue in there. Glue that sucker down as also right here. It's kind of the cool thing about this cellophane stuff is so what if you have to poke a hole somewhere, you know? Mm. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. There you go. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and pre-puncture some of our peaks. Thank you, Jen, for that reminder. That way we don't have to go through and get any stickier than we're already going to get. And the flatter you 
get all of this stuck down, the less resin you're going to have to use because you won't have to cover quite so many high points. I have made up quite a bit of resin already, but I'm pretty sure this is less surface area than the last piece that we were doing. All right. There we go. Now we already have this mixed up more ways than one because I had to pour it out of what I already had it in. So, um, and it's already super mixed. So here we go. Oh, we're going to pour it from one corner so it can work its way through all of the things. No, it's not. I'm going to go through all of it. I don't have the patience for that trick. Bam. This one a little swirl too. More bam. Y'all can't really see all the swirly, twirly, gooey gumdrop fun that's happening in this, but I assure you, it is brilliant. I'm just trying to work it into all the little crannies and crevices. Missed a pocket. Problem solved. There. Now, I will tell you that the casting epoxy dries a lot slower than the other epoxy because it is thinner. So, I won't be able to show you guys the results of this for a couple days, which is fine. it up. So ideally it's all going to end up looking like this under that bling it powder. The oyster or the heavenly white will both work similarly. Just don't put a lot in because then you'll saturate it and make it too cloudy and you won't be able to see the cellophane really. So this will take another coat, but I don't have time to do said coat because my hair is still not ready and I have to be ready in a minute. <gasps> okay. So I'm going to let Jeff tell you guys bye because if I do it, the boys will lose their brains. Maybe we come say bye. And also hit it with a little bit of heat. And I'm gonna go flat iron my hair and then be good to go. Thanks, love. Oh, I see, I see. All right. Well, it looks like it's time to say the farewells of the farewelliest. I wish this would stay flat. It looks like one side stays flat, but this side does not. I put some in this little geo mold. And I thought that it would like stay. I'll have to see. I thought I cut this just right. All right, well, looks like we're out of here. This girl is, oh my gosh. <sighs> you guys could see this studio after she paints for a week. All right, this is all the stuff. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> um, go check us out on Facebook. Uh, we have a, a, a poor people's group, ATD's Poor People. All you gotta do is answer the question to join the group. We've got about 4,300, almost 4,400 um, followers. 
Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We need all the subscribers we can get. Make sure I'm not leaking any resin on me. Um, be kind to one another. You never know what you're going through. You never know what somebody else is going through. <laughs> um, you guys have an awesome Wednesday night. Um, I'm going to go take her to a surprise dinner kind of thing. It's not really a surprise. I mean, it's a surprise, but um, I'll tell you guys. It's a um, drag bingo. So don't say anything. Um, it's at a place called Tiny Victories over here. Um, so just check us out. Um, make sure you follow us on Snapchat. It's that little yellow icon with the ghost on it. Uh, that's hers, and then that is mine. Um, dancing. What is that? Dex, Dex, dancing Elixir. <laughs> um, and Thornton EST 1970 is my Snapchat. So um, you guys have a good night. We will see you all. On the flip side, what is tomorrow? Um, tomorrow's Thursday. What do we got doing tomorrow? I really don't think of anything. So we'll probably see you at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what the dealio is. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. You guys have an awesome night. Thanks for showing up. Love you guys. Um, and remember, your creativity never sleeps. So go do your thing. Bye.